All right, Terminator Dark Fate. Now, I had some low bloody expectations for this movie, and they were exceeded, believe it or not. It was even worse than I expected, all right? Not on a technical level per se. I mean, the movie looked fine, uh, and, you know, some of the action scenes were entertaining, but that's all this was. This was just an entertaining movie. That's all. Terminator's not supposed to just be entertaining. I actually care about this franchise. I actually cared about these characters. And this whole movie just shit all over them. It took John Connor and murdered him straight away at the start. Now, I knew that was going to happen because I heard about the, uh, the leaked spoilers of the plot. But how could they... They, they murdered the franchise. It's gone. They, they've, they've made Terminator 1 and 2 completely insignificant and irrelevant. They've made it mean nothing. All right? They literally took the whole struggle against Skynet and said, Hey, that never happened now. That, that, that is now obsolete. And now we just have a new, a new you know, AI program called Legion. And a whole new set of Terminators. A whole new set of characters. A whole new savior of mankind. Of course it's got to be a woman now because of political correct bullshit. All right? You can't have a man save the world. can't have a man save a woman anymore. No. It's got to be a woman saving the world. Because somehow that's fucking, I don't know, feminist... I don't know, empowering for women? How is this empowering for women? This is stupid. Sarah Connor was an empowered woman in 1 and 2. All right? They didn't need to do this. Why'd you do this, Hollywood? Why do you keep taking the franchises we love and shitting on them? All right? Not, a, not only just make... You could have just made a sequel. You didn't have to murder John Connor, the man who the whole series impinged on. The whole series fucking rested on his shoulders. He was the central point of it all. And you just killed him at the start. And you turned Sarah Connor into just some fucking old lady who says fuck 500 times in the movie. That's not Sarah Connor. She didn't just go around swearing and saying one-liners. You watch Terminator 1 and 2, she's a terrified uh, girl in the first one. And in the second one, she's a terrified mother. Alright, she's brave, but she's terrified for her son. She's not going around saying one-fucking-liners all the time. That's not this kind of movie. Uh, the, the first two Terminator movies had weight to them. They, they felt like there really was danger in these movies. It felt like uh, there was a sense of dread in those films that was palpable. They just can't be recreated. Terminator 3 couldn't do it. Salvation, Genesis, and this shit couldn't do it. Nothing can match those movies that were like fucking... Uh, they were one in a billion. Two in a billion. They just can't be recreated. They can't catch the magic, the atmosphere, the mood, the feel of, of those first two films. As far as I'm concerned, that's all that exists. Terminator 1 and 2, the rest don't exist. This movie never happened, okay? This is not the timeline that continued the story of Terminator 2, all right? This was just a flashy fan movie. And Tim Miller's not even a fan of the series. If he was, he wouldn't have fucking killed John Connor! A fan of the series doesn't kill the central protagonist. Alright? And he doesn't betray Sarah Connor's character and just turn her into a walking one-liner vending machine. That's all she was in this movie. And Arnold. They turned the Terminator into a fucking curtain salesman. How? And he has a conscience now? What happened to Kyle Reese's speech in the first one? Remember? They can't be bargained with, they can't be reasoned with, and they absolutely will not stop until you are dead. Alright? They don't sell curtains! He's a fucking robot! How can he have a conscience? He murdered John Connor, he killed him, alright, at the start of the movie, and then he grows a conscience? He's a fucking machine! He's a, a circuit board! Circuit boards... Circuitry and wiring does not have a soul. Hollywood, what is wrong with you and the writers of this movie? Fuck. And James Cameron. Mr. Hypocrite, what the fuck, man? I've seen you in interviews saying over and over again, you don't kill the characters that people have grown to love and that a series hinges on. All right, you were shitting all over David Fincher for doing exactly that. 
in Alien 3. But what he did wasn't even as heinous because he killed Hicks and Newt, who were side characters. All right, what you've done here is the equivalent of killing Ripley. All right? At the start of an Alien movie. And then introducing some shit new characters that no one cares about. And then turning the Xenomorph into a curtain salesman. That's what was done here. The weight and and the the heaviness of the first two movies where you felt there was an impending apocalypse coming. And there was this Terminator that can't be stopped. That was a real threat. In this movie, he had multiple opportunities to Terminator to kill Danny Ramos and he just mucked around. He had her at the end there. With Arnold knocked out. With Sarah Connor out of action. With Grace dead. The Terminator had her in his hands and he's just sitting there choking her. He could have punched a fucking hole in her head instantly and killed her. But no, mucking around, mucking around, gonna choke her. How long does it take a fucking metal steel machine to choke someone? All he had to do was just go and squeeze her neck and it would have killed her instantly. But of course, for dramatic effect, got to make it look like she's about to die. So Arnold can come in or Sarah Connor could come in and save the day. At the end. It was so stupid. It just betrayed the feel, the spirit of the Terminator series. It's like we can't rely on anyone to deliver anymore when it comes to this series. Even its creator, James Cameron, has also... I see him, I see him trying to distance himself from the movie now and throw some shade at Tim Miller. But I think you're all guilty as charged when it comes to this movie. You're all responsible for the shit show that it's become. All right? So... Terminator franchise is dead, but at least we got one and two, all right, that we can watch forever and just bask in the glory of the greatness of those first two, because they really are brilliant movies that they just cannot be replicated. All right, maybe and maybe in a decade or in a generation's time, someone will come along with the sense to recapture the spirit and the feel of the first two movies, because this movie didn't do it. This movie. Took a big, giant, steaming, hot fucking turd all over the series. But, no matter how hard they try, Hollywood, you can't destroy the magic of the first two, alright? I can't reiterate that enough, alright? So, this movie was shit, alright? They tried to have their little political message with the with the border as well. Oh, border security is bad and evil! Uh, what a fucking stupid message, alright? How ridiculous. If anything, this made it seem more important to have border security. Because maybe you've got fucking Terminators running around. Anyway. I'm not going to rant and rave much longer. Okay? Because it's not going to change this movie. It's happened. It exists. Well, actually, not for me. It doesn't exist, alright? I'm going to pretend and carry on as though this movie never happened. If you're wondering why I'm so angry about a, a, a silly movie franchise, well, I grew up watching the Terminator movies, and they mean a lot to me. I love the themes and and uh, the just the whole concept and, and uh, of that series. All right, and the characters meant a lot to me, and they represented, uh, you know, they represented important things: courage, determination, grit. Love, selflessness, sacrifice. These are universal themes, all right, in in, in uh, humanity. They're the best parts of humanity, all right? And John Connor symbolized, uh, you know, uh, the savior of mankind. And his initials were JC, like Jesus Christ, all right? Uh, you know, I wasn't blind to that uh, illusion and symbolism that the movie had. All right, so it meant a lot to me as a kid. So, you know, it also means a lot when they try to insult and destroy that franchise, but they can't do it because it's just too good. So I'll leave it there. All right. Uh, if you like Dark Fate, good for you. You know, explain why in the comments because I don't get it. This movie was just shit for me. All right all of it betrayed all the characters betrayed the tone mood and feel of the entire series and uh yeah you don't kill the protagonist at the start of the movie
of the entire series. That's just stupidity. All right, folks, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And stay tuned for more content. Adios, muchachos. Thank you.